Welcome back, Steelman. We hope you enjoyed your holiday. You are watching the April 21st edition of the SNN News with me, Gillian, and my friend Rosa. Students will be receiving testing rooms locations today and through advisory. Here are seven reminders for the Juliet Central testing April 23rd and the 24th. Students are not allowed to bring purses, book bags, cell phones, drinks, or food into the testing room. Students should bring two number two pencils, a calculator, and wear their student IDs, and students should avoid working late hours before the test. In addition, students should leave home early so they can arrive to school on time. We will provide snacks of water, granola, and fruit during the breaks. Also, eight hours of sleep and eating a light breakfast before coming to school can improve students' alertness. In addition, don't forget that all buses will follow the upperclassmen pickup time. Steelman, here is some prom information. The prom date is May 2nd, 2014, and the time is 6 to 10 p.m., and it will be held at the Renaissance Center. Guest forms are also available online and in the principal's office. The price is now $60 per person if you buy between April 14th through the 28th. Ticket sales are during periods 1 through 7th and after school, but you must, fi you must clear financial obligation in, text in the textbooks. For additional prom questions, email Ms. N. Wilhelmson at jths.org. And here are some Class of 2014 reminders. Avoid being a doubtful graduate so that you can pick up your capping gown on May 19th and get five tickets to graduation, which is on May 30th. Doubtful graduates are those that haven't completed community service, earned a D in a required class needed for graduation on the 12th week progress report, owes money in the textbook center, or received an expulsion warning. The green team will be meeting in room 223 today after school. We have big plans. Remember to bring a friend. Attention for the stream models, there will be no meeting today. We will meet again on Monday, April 28th at 3.30 p.m. in room 750. See you at the end of the April. CASA will be having their meeting Tuesday, April 29th after school in room 382. We will have a student council meeting this Thursday, April 24th in room 198 right after school. The blood drive has been changed to a different date, Friday, May 9th. Sign-ups are online and link will be sent to your email. There are also be sign-ups during all lunch periods on Wednesday, April 30th, outside the cafeteria by the elevators. Seniors, you may purchase your ticket to the senior banquet in the bookstore for $20. The banquet will be held on Tuesday, May 13th at the Jacob Henry Mansion from 6 to 9 p.m. The 2013-2014 Drivers Ed Summer Registration Timeline dates are April 28th through May 9th. See your guidance counselor to register for driver's education classes. Summer testing for driver's education will be held on May 22nd, 2014. Summer driver's education begins June 9, 2014 and will run through July 3rd, 2014, Monday through Friday. For more information, go to www.jths.org slash district 204 slash district program slash driver's education. Today's lunch will be chicken fajita on tortilla, sauteed onions with red and green peppers, refried beans, sliced peaches, and your choice of milk. Tomorrow's lunch will be sausage pizza, romaine salad, green beans, mandarin orange cup, and your choice of milk. Now please stay tuned while we watch another poetry reading. Thanks for watching and have a great week, Steelman. This is The Poem You Asked For by Larry Levis. My poem would eat nothing. I tried giving it water, but it said no, worrying me. Day after day, I held it up to the light, turning it over, but it only pressed its lips more tightly together. It grew sullen, like a toad through with being teased. I offered it money, my clothes, my car with a full tank, but the poem stared at the floor. Finally, I cupped it in my hands and carried it gently out into the soft air, into the evening traffic, wondering how to end things between us. 
For now it had begun breathing, putting on more and more hard rings of flesh. And the poem demanded the food. It drank up all the water, beat me, took my money, tore the faded clothes off my back, said shoot, and walked slowly away, slicking its hair down, said it was going over to your place.